Today we're going to be talking about rigging a spinning rod for mahi fishing. Um, this spinning rod I have right now, I have it with a circle hook. So we were doing some sail fishing on the reef. And let me tell you, you don't want circle hooks for mahi fishing. I don't know what it is about those fish, but they have a tendency to spit those circle hooks. What we like to use is a J hook, size 5.0 or 6.0. It doesn't really matter what brand. Um, since mahi are a food fish that most people are going to be harvesting for dinner, we're not so concerned um, with catch and release of those fish as we would be with a sailfish. So we don't really see a point to using um, a circle hook. Now, one little trick that I like to do on my mahi rods so that um, if you're in a big school of fish and you're catching them left and right, um, what you can do to avoid excessive line twist is put a swivel on there, a snap swivel or just a small swivel. Um, that will also allow you to keep a live bait in your live well without having to worry about the bait spinning around in circles, twisting or knotting the line. So what I'll do is I'll slide on a small bead. A lot of people ask why a bead? Well, that bead will help save your rod tip in case you accidentally reel the swivel all the way up to the tip. So here I'm just gonna attach a snap swivel to my 40 pound mainline, trim my tag end. So that's ready. For my mahi leaders, I'll typically use mono ranging from 60 to 80 pounds. I like to use about a three or four foot section. Um, and the reason I don't just tie the hook to the main line is because when you're mahi fishing, you're probably gonna go through quite a few leaders and hook ties. So I find it's just easier to snap on a new leader versus tie retie re hooks. So let me tie this J hook on with a, just a simple fisherman's knot. And then for my loop on the other end, which attaches to the snap swivel, I like to use a perfection loop. Start by making a loop, go over top, put your tag between the two sections of loops, and then feed your second loop through your fir first loop, like so, cinch it tight. It might be a little hard to follow, but you can just look that up. Perfection loop, it's a great knot. Now, add your leader to your snap swivel. We like to use when we're mahi fishing is a live cigar minnow or a scaled sardine. We got a cigar minnow right here. I'll show you how I'll fish my live bait mahi rod when we're out there trolling or looking around. So I'm gonna bridle my cigar minnow right through the eyes. You might think that that would kill them rather quickly, but they'll stay alive bridled like this for quite some time. So now that he's bridled, I'll just stick him in a bucket. And since I have this snap swivel on here, he's gonna swim around in circles and try to tangle that leader up, but you don't have to worry about it. Then that way, if we just happen to cruise by a mahi and have a live bait, Hooked on, ready to cast. You don't have to waste any time trying to get something together. Always want to.